This is the end of the Lord of the Rings, the end of the last chapter. And I begin with uh, Gandalf speaking at the Grey Havens as he and Frodo prepare to leave in the last ship. Well, here at last, dear friends, on the shores of the sea, comes the end of our fellowship in Middle-earth. Go in peace. I will not say, do not weep, for not all tears are in evil. Then Frodo kissed Mary and Pippin, and last of all Sam, and went aboard. And the sails were drawn up, and the wind blew, and slowly the ship slipped away down the long grey firth and the light of the glass of Galadriel that Frodo bore glimmered and was lost. And the ship went out into the high sea and passed on into the west, until at last, on a night of rain, Frodo smelled a sweet fragrance on the air and heard the sound of singing that came over the water. And then it seemed to him that as in his dream in the house of Bombadil, the grey rain curtain turned all to silver glass and was rolled back, and he beheld white shores and beyond them, a far green country under a swift sunrise. But to Sam, the evening deepened to darkness as he stood at the haven. As he looked at the grey sea, he saw only a shadow on the waters that was soon lost in the west. There he stood, far into the night, hearing only the sigh and murmur of the waves on the shores of Middle-earth and the sound of them sank deep into his heart. Beside him stood Mary and Pippin, and they were silent. At last the three companions turned away, and never again looking back, they rode slowly homewards, and they spoke no word to one another until they came back to the Shire, but each had great comfort in his friends on the long grey road. At last they rode over the downs and took the east road, and then Mary and Pippin rode on to Buckland, and already they were singing again as they went. But Sam turned to Bywater, and so came back up the hill, as day was ending once more. And he went on, and there was yellow light and fire within, and the evening meal was ready, and he was expected. And Rose drew him in, and set him in his chair, and put little Eleanor upon his lap. He drew a deep breath. Well, I'm back, he said. 